Well, federal investigators are now involved in the search for the person or people who have been throwing Molotov cocktails at homes all around Baltimore City over the past two months. ABC2 News' is Christian Schaefer is in the newsroom with that story tonight. Christian. The, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms has some special experience that it will now bring to this investigation. It also has plenty of cash. Explosive devices referred to by authorities as Molotov cocktails thrown into windows and onto the sides of homes and apartment buildings. I want to underscore again how extremely dangerous these situations can be. The first firebombing happened on Leadenhall Street in Sharp Leadenhall. Another happened on Asquith Street in East Baltimore. But most of the September fires were in the northwestern part of the city. We do believe that some of them are related, but unfortunately there's, there's uh, nothing more in terms of evidence beyond that. Then, early in the morning of November 12, Three more fire bombings, also in northwest Baltimore, then another on November 16th, bringing the total to 13 just since early September. It's scary. At this point, city police have no idea who is responsible. Now they've partnered with investigators from the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms to try and turn up some leads. There uh, seemed to be some connection uh, between some of the 13, maybe not necessarily all of them. Um, uh, just based on uh, the location of uh, some of the incidents. So far, no one has been seriously injured and property damage has been minimal. Police want to stop the next attack before it happens. It is such a slippery slope that one of these items could, could very easily catch fire and in minutes engulf an entire house. Yeah, this weekend, officers are going to start handing out flyers like this one, especially around northwest Baltimore, advertising this $5,000 ATF-sponsored reward for information leading to an arrest in this case. There's more information about that on our website, abc2news.com. Live in the newsroom, Christian Schaefer.